Ryan Eckert here with Peak Endurance Solutions and in this video we're going to be going over kicking on your back uh, but this is a more of an entry level drill to help get the athlete more comfortable kicking on their back and it uses a kickboard that you're going to hold down by your hips. So when you're doing this drill, um, if it's the first time doing it, I would recommend doing it with, a fit with fins like you'll see me using in this video um, and then you'll just need a kickboard. And so to get yourself set up, you're going to put the fins on and then you're going to grab the kickboard either on its sides or on one end of it and hold the kickboard down by your hips. And the kickboard is really just there to reinforce a few things. So it's there for you to hold on to to help assist you in keeping your hips up while you're kicking. And then also when you're kicking on your back, you still want to initiate the kick from the hips and make those kicks small and tight. And so if you find your knees are hitting the kickboard when you're kicking on your back, that means that you're probably bending a little bit too much um, at your knees. And so it, it serves a, a couple different purpose, purposes um, with the kickboard. So I'll go ahead and play the video for you and point a few things out. So you'll notice that I'm maintaining stable head position, minimizing the rocking at my shoulders, holding the kickboard just above my hips and play it one more time and I'm initiating small and tight kicks from the hips knees aren't hitting the kickboard and so with this drill it'll a help develop your kicking in a different position than kicking on your stomach or on your side and then if you haven't done backstroke or if you didn't grow up as a swimmer and you've never done backstroke before um, it's a basic entry level drill that'll help get you more comfortable kicking on your back and then you can build upon this uh, moving forward if you did want to learn how to do backstroke. Um, but for triathletes who maybe don't necessarily need to know how to do backstroke and who primarily focus on um, freestyle when they race and in training, it's still a great way to incorporate some kicking into your swim sets in a different position than just being on your stomach or on your side. And I'm a big fan of doing drills and working on other types of swim strokes and working on different aspects of your technique just to get a better feel for the water and to get more comfortable in different positions in the water. Um, so for pool swimmers who will want to do backstroke, this is a great entry level drill. And then for triathletes, it's just a, a great drill to incorporate to work on some kicking and get you more comfortable in the water.